ulit. Throcky is playing with the clothesline. He unties one and then wiggles the end up and down sinusoidally with some frequency 2 hertz and amplitude 0 0.075 meters. Um, the first question is finding the energy, the rate of that energy into the clothesline. So, ang hinahanap dito ay power. In fact, maximum power. Kasi maximum rate eh. It's the maximum power. The second one, since hinahanap sa first yung maximum power, ang pangalawa, what about the average power? Okay, so the first one, maximum power. Second one, average power. Let us see, as truck it tires, the amplitude decreases. What is the average power when the amplitude has dropped to 7.5 millimeters? So, dito tinitigdan, ano yung relationship ng amplitude sa power? Okay, kung napansin nyo, parehas yung number, so 75, oh, parehas yung digit 75, and also 7.5. Diba? So, the question now is, what is the average power if it's decreased by some factor? Okay, so yeah. I'll be giving you a minute to, to solve this problem and then I'll show you the solution in this problem. Okay. Okay, so in that case, um, the first question now, so we have this example again here. Um, let's just again write the quantity. So amplitude is 0 0.075 meters. The force is 36.0 newtons. Um. Ang pangit naman ang sulat ko. Sorry. So the force is 36.0 newtons. The mass per unit length is 0.25 kilograms per meter. And the angular frequency is 4 pi radians per second. So letter A, what is the maximum power? So ano yung expression natin for maximum power Pmax? Ano lang yan? This is just equal to what? Uh, this is just the square root of mu times f omega squared times a squared. Hindi ka lang isipin yung sine squared ng marami expression because we're only determining the maximum power. So substituting, we have therefore a 36.0 newtons or hindi mo na yan, 0.25 kilograms per meter multiplied by 36.0 newtons raised to one half multiplied with lang. Uh, masyado ng mahaba, so miss natin siya ng konti. So, lipat ko siya dito. Ayan. So, 36 newtons multiplied by the amplitude, which is 4 pi radians per second quantity squared, multiplied by the amplitude, which is 0 0.075 meters. And the answer, which is the maximum power, is equal to... I Wait lang. Let me check. Um, the maximum power is about 2.66 newtons. So, yan yung maximum power niya. Okay? Letter B. So, what about the average power? So, paano hanapin yung average power? Ano lang yon? One half to max. Yes. It's just the half of the maximum power. Diba? So, the average power. Whoops. The average power, or we sometimes denote it as um uh expectation value of p is just one half p max which is simply 1.33 newtons without actually computing it at the yung average power so yeah so that's the average power and then finally um let us see if a equals point um ano yun? uh binago ko yung amplitude to 7.5 millimeters so let's say let's let a new be equal to point to um 7.5 millimeters or 7.5 times 10 to the minus 3 meters or pwede mo, in that case si 7.5 kanina kung napansin niyo you have 7.5 uh hindi ko pala sinulat dito you have 0 0.075 meters this one now what's 0 0.075 divided by ano note 0 0.075 meters Divided by 7.5 times 10 to the minus 3 meters, ano yan? Ano lang yan? So this is, uh, ano lang? So this is also 0 0.075 divided by 0 0.0075. Therefore, ano yan? Ano lang yan? This is 10, yes. <laughs> 10 yan. So in that case, we reduced the amplitude to 10 times smaller. And therefore, a nu equals 10 a0. And implying that the maximum power in this case, or the new maximum power, 
it's just um, um, square root, or I should say one half square root of mu f omega squared a nu squared, which is just equal to what? Ay, mali, 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 mali. This is one ten, sorry. One over ten ito. Um, or a zero is ten a nu. Kumbaga, one tenth nung new amplitude, yung old amplitude. <laughs> Yon. So in that case, I have therefore one half square root of mu f times omega squared multiplied by one over 10 a, which is the original amplitude, implying that this is just one over 100 multiplied by one half square root of mu f omega squared a squared or one over 100 ng original na maximum or average. Maximum power ba hina? Ah! Mali, mali, mali. So this should have been P nu. So of the original average power. Therefore, ang nangyari lang dun sa letter C, kailangan mong i-divide ng 100 yung average power. Therefore, the power is proportional to the square of the amplitude. Because, di ba yun naman talaga sa energy, kapag waves or oscillations, the energy is proportional to the square of the amplitude. And therefore, the new average power is just equal to 0 0.0267 watts. Okay? Power to, so hindi dapat to newtons. What's dapat yan? <laughs> Sorry for that. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. So the maximum power is 2.66 watts. The, the average power is 1.33 watts. And the new average power is 2. Point, um, so 0 0.0267 watts. So lumiit ng 100 times yung average power by just decreasing to one tenth of its original amplitude. May mga tanong pa ba? Questions? Are there any questions, guys? May tanong pa? So, basically, so this problem is basically solving the um solving the power, which is the maximum power, the average power, and determining the dependence of that powers to uh, the amplitude of the wave. Okay? So, are there any questions in this problem? May tanong ba? Wala, so wala tanong. None, okay. 